onion juice. Some people swear by it, and others just say there's not a chance that it works. But what is the truth? Can it actually work for boldness? As always, guys, you can count on us to bring you the facts. Coming right up. Hey guys, Leon here, and welcome to the Hair God YouTube channel. On this channel, we create science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you want updating on any of the latest hair loss news or any breakthroughs that we find out about, then do make sure to hit subscribe. And guys, if you're watching this video on onion juice because you're worried about your hair loss, then what you can do is click the link in the description to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You'll answer a few short questions about yourself and your hair loss, then you'll receive free, personalized, expert advice on how to regrow healthy hair. Now guys, onions are actually thought to be helpful for a variety of health issues. And the reason why is because onions are rich in a chemical group called flavonoids. These are the compounds that give the different varieties their characteristic color, be they reddish or yellow. Flavonoids are powerful antioxidants and their consumption has been linked to a variety of health benefits. These range from cardiovascular health to the protection of the nervous system, cognitive benefits, and even anti-cancer properties. And flavonoids are also very effective at being used as an anti-inflammatory. Now, aside from flavonoids, onions are also rich in sulfur. This is a powerful antibacterial believed to be very beneficial for the skin. So that's all very nice, but what about hair loss? Can onion juices, antioxidant, antimicrobial, and anti-inflammatory properties actually help aid hair growth? And more importantly, are there any published studies on this? To date, we are only aware of one such study, but the results of this single study are actually very impressive, to say the least. The men and women in this study had alopecia areata. This is an autoimmune type of hair loss that leads to the sudden appearance of bold patches on the scalp. It affects both men and women alike, and its causation is not fully understood. So, the patients in this study were split into two groups. One group applied onion juice on their scalp twice daily, and people in the other group applied tap water twice daily. After two months of treatment, only 2% of patients in the tap water group had experienced hair growth, but the onion juice group had very different results. A whopping 87% of patients in this group had full hair regrowth. Needless to say, the difference between the two groups was highly statistically significant. Now, the authors of this study had a hard time accounting for these depressive results. The molecular mechanism by which onion juice accomplished this regrowth is not fully understood. It might have to do with the flavonoids or the sulfur, or it might be something else entirely. We cannot know for sure at this point. So what about the side effects of using onion juice? Well, this is a natural treatment, so there are no serious side effects. Certainly nothing systemic. The most common reaction is mild redness and itching, and this is likely to occur in around half or more of users. If you find that this irritation is too intense, you can always weaken the onion juice by adding a little bit of water. Alternatively, you can reduce the application frequency. Speaking of which, just how do you apply it? So there are two basic ways that you can add onion juice into your hair care routine. One is to apply it directly onto the scalp on its own. The other is to simply add it to your shampoo. But if you decide to add it to your shampoo, we recommend you use a natural or homemade shampoo because mixing it with an industrial shampoo full of harsh chemicals like sodium lauryl sulfate kind of defeats the purpose, don't you think? The two most common ways to extract the juice from onions are A, putting them in a juicer and then straining the juice or B, cutting the onions into smaller pieces and then putting them into a garlic press. As with all topical treatments, it's important to massage the juice into the scalp and allow it to sit before rinsing out. We recommend allowing it to sit for at least 15 minutes, but some users leave it on for longer, even overnight. Now guys, we do need to mention something. While you're not going to get serious side effects from onion juice, you should be prepared for two things. One is the smell and two is the tears. The smell in particular may be more and more difficult to get rid of the more that you use the onion juice. So that's definitely something you might want to consider. For example, in the study that looked at onion juice for alopecia areata, about half of the patients in the onion juice dropped out of the study within two months. This compared to a roughly 11% dropout rate in the tap water group. The authors of the study didn't go into details about the causes of this high dropout rate in the onion juice group. But given how effective the treatment was, the most plausible explanation has to do with the smell. 
With regards to the tiers, it's something that will vary from person to person. So try it once and you can see if it's something that you can tolerate. Now, Onion Juice is one of those areas where there isn't a lot of published research. So there's a lot of anecdotes and stories people share online. And bear in mind guys, to date there is nothing published on its effectiveness against male pattern baldness. The alopecia areata study is powerful stuff, no doubt about it. But we would like to see some direct research on people suffering with androgenetic alopecia. Now until that day, anecdote is all that we have. And the more that the testimonies add up, the better idea that we can start to form about this stuff's efficacy. And speaking of anecdote, a lot of people who use the juice on their scalp report a dramatic and sudden reduction in their dandruff. So just let us know in the comments, have you tried onion juice in the past or are you still on it to this very day? And make sure to click the videos on the screen right now to learn more about scalp tension and hair loss.